Hi everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Horoscope. My name is Terence Gardino. Well, by next Sunday, there will be a full moon lunar eclipse in anxious, impatient, volatile Aries. A full moon lunar eclipse um, is more relational based, meaning it might affect more partnerships, relationships. It will certainly trigger a lot of emotional reactiveness. Now that's because a lunar eclipse is always two weeks before or two weeks after a solar eclipse. And of course, I was telling you about the Virgo solar eclipse, September the 13th, and the week before, the week after, not a good time to be making important life decisions. Then on the 17th of September, communication Mercury went retrograde until October the 9th. Also not a time to be making important decisions, mainly because with Mercury in retrograde, there might be some misunderstandings or you don't have all the best available information to make the wisest decision. And now we're coming into where everything is going to be coming to a head, which is that full moon lunar eclipse by Sunday. And just an eclipse in general can bring emotional matters to a head, a time of culmination, a lot of reactiveness, but it can really affect relationships. And with Mercury in retrograde, um, communications may not be at this best. Often with Mercury in retrograde, one can assume the worst or build mountains out of molehills. But let's start at the beginning of this week. We have some good energy. Uh, Venus, pleasure-seeking, social, creative Venus, is very favorable to Uranus. Now, this could be a time of making new friendships, participating in some group activities, can also for artists, you're more open to coming up with original ideas. But when it comes to enjoying yourself, going, uh, attending entertainment parties, that Uranus gives a more, uh, a more exciting um, energy to it. Then on Wednesday is the equinox, when the sun enters Libra and starts a new season. North of the equator, it's the autumn equinox. And of course, south of the equator, it's the spring equinox. The equinox is, happens twice a year, and it is a time when, the, um, when we have equal sunlight and equal daylight. And it is a time of balance. This day, however, has a lot of positive support because as the sun moves into Libra, uh, that's now wanting to seek more harmony, fairness, it's going to be in a very favorable aspect to Saturn. And when Saturn is favorably aspected, it brings more stability, groundedness, common sense. On Thursday, Mercury, communication Mercury, retrograde, don't forget, is going to be in a challenging aspect to Mercury. So you may be trying to convince somebody of your point of view with your project, but you're spinning your wheels, you're getting into ego conflicts, or somebody's trying to pressure you into, into accepting their ideas. And that might also be happening, but also at the same time internally within your own mind, you may be trying to convince yourself and going through as back and forth and what do I do? Um, so it's a real churning time. Again, particularly a day you don't really want to be making really important decisions or get really caught up in any kind of ego conflicts. Particularly as we get into Friday, aggressive assertive Mars is going to be blocked by restricted Saturn. Now this is going to be really strong on Friday, but it'll be lingering into Saturday. This could mean, um, in general, that whatever you're trying to initiate and start projects and be ambitious and go for your goals, 
it's slamming up against the resistance of Saturn. So this is, think of it as you're setting sail, but there's no wind, or you're setting sail, but you're going against the current, and it's just taking so much more effort to get the job done. So you certainly wouldn't want to begin any kind of new projects. Now, what you could do, because this can be very frustrating energy, it's just energy and you need to channel it. Uh, this would be more favorable if you are picking a project and working on it for like eight hours, 10 hours, maybe even for two days just really concentrating and focusing your energy, but pacing yourself, um, taking it slow and steady, don't have a lot of expectations, but you'll have the, the, you'll have the energy and the drive if you go slow and have patience to get the job done. This can also be channeled positively through exercise, but not any kind of erratic, um, you know, jolting exercise, but more endurance, slow building endurance. Then we come to the weekend and especially Sunday with this full moon lunar eclipse. Now with Mercury in retrograde, full moon is in Aries. Aries, you may be more impatient, more irritable. Mercury in retrograde, you're jumping to conclusions. A full moon is often a time um, that can bring to light separations. So you want to breathe, you want to stay grounded, you want to make sure you understood what was being said, and don't be making any rash decisions. So there's a lot of energy this week. There's some very positive energy um, with the Venus, Uranus, with the Sun, Saturn, with the Sun moving into Libra. But there's a lot of changing energy, shifting energy. So just uh, stay the course, pace yourself, be patient, and you might be able to have a good week and accomplish a lot of, a lot of your work. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next week to my next segment. Until then, have a good week.